Hey guys, we're here at the WP 2016 product launch for the new cone valve fork and track shocks and also the new air fork. We have Kyle from WP North America here today and he's going to help explain some of the changes to the 2016 kit suspension which is their cone valve system which has been around and proven for a while and of course the track system. Kyle, what are the uh, biggest changes and improvements you've made for 2016? Dan, the biggest changes we made on the 2016 cone valve fork are really an upgrade in all the coatings and uh, finishing processes we have on both the outer tube components as well as the cartridge rod and uh, cartridge tube components. Spent a lot of time refining the, the coating so we have some of the most durable uh, heat resistance, low friction coatings we could find. Um, for some people might not even know how the cone system works. What is the difference between your typical shim type system and a cone valve? What is a cone valve? The cone valve system is our, our patented uh, damping system which actually eliminates the need for shims on your mid valve piston. Uh, what it does is uh, we remove the shims and we have a system which uses <coughs> a cone with a cone spring against it and a cone adapter and uh, the oil passes past the, the, the cone piece and against the pressure of the cone spring. And this is what actually creates the damping instead of shims. It's interesting because it was actually born out of necessity from Supercross in the late 1990s because the damping required for Supercross we were actually bending some shims. So we came up with this system so that we didn't have to run the risk of bending shims. It's proven to be a great system. Uh, we use it from Supercross, Motocross, uh, Enduro Racing, Cross Country Racing, Baja, um, Enduro Cross. Uh, it's, it, it, it really can be set up for a whole wide range of product, uh, sorry, of racing. And then in the past, it's always been known that these have been only available for um, basically KTM. Mm -hmm. The 2016 Bolt Bikes is all available for. Yeah, so we have a long history of working with KTM, obviously. Um, but, you know, since we're a standalone company, uh, it's important to us to make sure we have a great product offering for all the, all the competition motocross and enduro bikes. So we actually produce these forks specifically for the Suzuki, the Honda, the Kawasaki, the Yamaha, um, even the Beta and the Sherco bikes. Uh, we, we make the forks specifically for those. So you don't have to use a KTM front wheel or anything like that. To, they're designed as a direct OE replacement, so they fit in the bike's standard clamps, wheel, disc guard, uh, fork guards, brake, everything. You order it for the bike, and it's developed and designed and produced for that bike. Okay. And then the cone valve system, does it, they're all still using springs with external preload adjustment? Yeah, that's right. So, um, obviously it's no secret that uh, developing the air technology for WP is pretty important. We've had a pretty high-level factory racing project with Andrew Short. Um, and we have some cool things that we've learned with air suspension, but at the core of our kit suspension, we've decided to stick with the coil spring design. Um, it's, it's a really good design. A lot of people are, are really comfortable with the coil spring still, and some people just don't want the, uh, to, sorry, to change to air. Um, so we've decided for now to stick with the traditional coil spring in our cone valve fork. I guess then the next thing we should get into is we also got to ride the new air fork today, which I guess is the other end of development. Yeah, that's Can you right. Tell us a little bit because uh, WP's taken a little bit different take and built a system that really hasn't different than everything that people have seen. Yeah, Keith. for sure. So, like I said, uh, for the past uh, two years on a, a U.S. Championship level stage, you've seen Andrew Short uh, racing Supercross and Motocross with a prototype air fork, uh, also with a prototype air shock. Um, it's been no secret. Um, by and large, we've uh, used the technology and the, the information that we've learned from this factory racing project and implemented some of the same technologies and, and thoughts into a, a, a production fork. Um, this fork uh, has been used, uh, will be used now on the production uh, motocross bikes for KTM over in Europe. Um, and we brought it to be uh, released as an aftermarket product through the WP authorized centers and SDI here in the US. The thing that's really cool about the Air 48 fork for the KTMs and Huskies is that it's actually a single chamber fork. Um, it technically actually has two chambers, a, a compression chamber and a rebound chamber, but it's self-regulating, so you only have to fill it from one valve on the top of the fork. It, can, it constantly regulates and uh, balances between the two uh, chambers, so you never have a, a, an, an irregular and imbalance in pressures. So you don't have to fill a bottom chamber, top, and sequence. You just fill from the top chamber and everything self-balances. That's right. 
itself. That's right. And speaking of filling in one chamber, it's truly one chamber. You don't have to uh, fill one fork and then fill a chamber in the other fork. So all of the air spring is held in one fork tube. Uh, so we have a, a cartridge inside one fork and its only job is to act as the air spring. It also keeps the damping in the other fork, which eliminates some of the heat buildup that's traditionally found uh, in air forks when you have damping also generated inside the same fork. So that helps eliminate just air temperature rising and the pump up feel that some riders have complained about different systems. Yep, that's right. right that's on. right. Also with this fork, we've rolled out uh, our proven design system. The proven design really is uh, it, it's a way for us to say that the fork uh, the fork will still hold, hold air and hold a position in the unlikely event of, a, of an air leak or a failure in the cartridge with other other traditional air forks that we've seen come to the market in the past several years if there's a, a leak on the main oil seal you will actually lose some air pressure and your fork can ride in a pretty low position um, the air chamber is completely sealed inside the cartridge so you don't have the effect of the outer chamber um, in, in a sense so if you have a main seal failure it's a very small impact to the rider well our days done here at Paula we actually got to ride Honda Cowie uh, a couple KTM's and a Husqvarna with the air system cone valve system the results were great we're really happy with all the new 2016 stuff um, Basically, we already have it in stock and it's ready to ship out. If you're interested in any of this, please feel free to call us at any time. Thank you.